Now I'm going to show you how to install the FCA jailbreaker and I'm inserting the USB stick. The unit has already booted up so it will uh, find the USB sticks pretty fast. Okay, But if you have the USB stick in, uh, from the start uh, it will take up to one, one and a half or two minutes until this screen comes up. Okay. This is the version number uh, you will see when it, you do the first uh, uh, install. But even uh, when you have programmed it and it has gone a full cycle, it will always come up like you want to update. But you already have it after the first installation, so you don't have to do it twice. Okay, I just press yes. And... Uh, then it's going to be uh, turning black and then go to white and behave strangely. Uh, I always recommend uh, people to have the ignition on, okay, engine on, uh, the first time you do it. So you know, so it doesn't uh, shut down the, the, the program. It shouldn't do that, but for safety, keep the engine running. And it's also going to say, uh, uh, this is the uh, first image is going to load, it's going to have units and total uh, units. Uh, don't care too much about this because this video is made for one software, uh, in the future it could be completely different, it could be uh, more units, but it's going to look like this and it's going to roughly uh, program about 25 minutes, alright? So just let it be, it's going to tell uh, it wants to restart and let it do everything until you come back to the, the first screen I showed you when it asks you to install again, alright? Now you see the second run, because the first run you had four units uh, for the first programming part and the second programming part you're going to say system check and uh, this has nine units, but remember as I said this software we are doing now could change in the future, so don't care too much. This is just the second round, all right? So now it has programmed uh, the whole way, and this is what's going to show up. Found token for vehicle current version, blah, blah, blah. This is actually the, the version of our software, so... Uh, OEM is called 16.05.32 ours is 3227 but if you go into the system settings and check the version number it's still gonna say 32 and you can always check the version by just taking the token and put it in the USB stick and pull it in and then you will see what version you have if you're not sure so then I just press Okay, this is what I've been talking about before. It will ask you to upgrade. Alright, since I already installed all the features, uh, you can have a choice to install or continue. But as our features can also be uninstalled without a problem, you get in this case three options. Uh, found already installed feature a cargo cam and cargo cam is the uh, extra video input uh, that we still call cargo cam because uh, the 1500 RAM and, and so on had the cargo cam so we will not change that so we say cargo cam is the extra video input so if you have a front cam uh, this is this is the extra so I press continue uh, if you didn't want to use this, you can always press uninstall, okay, continue. Don't touch this, okay, just let it be. Front cam is also installed, so either you press reinstall or continue, it doesn't matter really. And front view is the, uh, the feature I was talking about that turns the camera automatic on and off uh, around 18 kilometers uh, so if you don't want it just continue okay or if you have installed it and you don't want it just uninstall it okay 
so it's going to give you these pop-up screens uh, speed lockout is for being able to do anything you can't do normally all right so uh, this is also installed so I'm going to continue uh, this is how it looks when it's never been installed found new feature rear cam enables park view camera which input the back button so I'm going to install it and now it says reset into complete installation OK when you press OK you can uh, pull this USB stick you don't need it anymore because it has already taken up everything so it's going to reboot and uh, start from the beginning again And this is the same on all 6.5 view connect. So you can press accept. So now it's installed, but since we are not in the car at the moment, I can show you only uh, how to force the camera on. This is uh, a camera not connected.